Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn about Angular 19 output signals. Before Angular 18, we have output decorator. But from 18, they have introduced a signal-based API called as output. And it is a replacement of our output decorator. For higher performance and for better performance, we are Angular team is recommending us to use output signals instead of using an output decorator. But noteworthy point here is output decorators are not completely deprecated. So still we can use output decorator, but always it is recommended to use output signal if you are using Angular 18 or 18 plus. So let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code to understand this from end to end with an example. So let me go into Visual Studio Code. Here, what I'll do is I'll try to create a decorator, which is a previous approach of using output emitters. So now what I'll do is I'll just try to create a small child component. So ng generate and the component and the component name is child component with skipping of test cases because I want to, I don't want to use test files. Hit enter and it created a component called as child component. Let me go into child component and write some set of code related to our output decorator. So what is the purpose of output decorator? Whenever we want to send the data from our child to the parent, then we will use child component. Vice versa, if you are passing the data from the parent to the child, then we will use input decorator. In the same way, output signals will also work. Let me go into child component.html. And what I'll do is I'll try to create an input field and this input field with a type of text and save this. Now, what I want to do is I want to create a ng model for this. So I can use ng model equal to I want to give some set of value for this. So what is my value? For example, child data. I'm giving something like child data. Okay, let me go with a small example of clicking a button. On clicking a button, I want to transfer the data from my child component to the parent component. Here, let's create a parent child relation by using the selector of child component. So first thing, I'll use this child component and I'll use this at the app.component.html as a HTML element. Now, if I try to use this, it will always expect its module to be imported. As we are using standalone components, we can go to our app.component.ts and inside this, let me introduce imports statement and this import statements will have all the modules or all the standalone components or the directives which has to be registered in this place so that that particular components can be used in our HTML content. So now what I'll do is I'll use child component and this is my import. Hence, I can use the child component selector. So I have already embedded that selector here. Now what I want to do is I want to send some data from my child to the parent. So in general, what we'll do is we'll try to create some set of button because I want to emit some data. So let me create a button called as send data and save this. Now I'll create an event called as click event on this clicking of on clicking on this button. Let me pass the data. So let me write a event send data is my function copy this and go to child.ts and let me introduce that method which will not return anything hence i'll be using void now what i'll do i want to pass the data from the child to the parent so i need an output emitter so let me create an emitter here at the rate output and this is coming from angular slash code which is a capitalized word and now i want to pass this output emitter and the emitter name, I can give any emitter name. Let me name it as child emit or emitter, which is of type event emitter. Now let me create a new event emitter of, and let me give an interface like this. And let me pass like a string. I want to pass a data called as string and I'll give a default value as empty. If you, I, I'll give a type as string. That means I want to pass the data in a string format. So let me use this, this dot child emitter dot emit of it accepts a string value. So let me pass a string value called as take share skk and save this. Now when, when user clicks on this particular button, then the data will be transferred to the emitter 
that emitter wherever it has been registered that specific emitter will receive the value in this case my registered value is in app.component.html which is the parent of my child component now what i will do is i'll use an emitter this is a custom emitter so let me go here and copy this emitter name copy child emitter and put it over here so this will emit the data for us so emitted data which is of type dollar event and we will get a string type over there let me copy this emitted dot ta emitted data and create a function so emitted data which will receive the event which is of type string and then i would like to receive the value let me print the value console dot log of event and what i'll do is i'll just remove this title instead of having the title i'll assign the value whatever we are getting from the child component title is equal to i will pass it as event save this so now this title i'll use and display in my html instead of using this i'll use this one title save this so first thing it will have a default value and the default value is empty so what i'll do is angular v19 and save this now when the user clicks on a button then this title will be updated to textshare skk let me go into the browser here is the output let me zoom this and inspect let me click on console and when i click this you can see texture skk so let me refresh angular is a default value of the title when i click this which is in the child component then this will emit a value to my parent component and my title will be getting updated let me click on this it got updated as texture skk so that's how you can pass the data from child to parent using output decorator now if i want to convert this into a signal how can i do that it is very simple by using a command we can completely migrate our output decorators into signal based output decorators how we can do that let me use a command ng generate at the rate angular slash core with signal hyphen output hyphen migration and hit enter now we don't find this schematic why because it is not signal output migration it is just an output migration hit enter now it is asking which directory you want to migrate i want to migrate whole application because i have only one component that is nothing but a child component so let me hit enter now it will analyze and it started migrating so once it migrates which file it has updated it has updated the child component because it has that output decorator in the child component so let me go into child.ts you can see here it has migrated as output in a signal based format so whenever you use output it automatically creates the event emitter for us and then it will try to pass the data to our child component so let's ignore this comment as of now because it's a typescript comment so let me go into the browser and see here let me refresh and click on this you can see the text share skk so it has updated our value from a normal output into an output signal so what is the difference here we are seeing it is very simple to understand instead of writing event emitter and all this stuff we are just using a signal api called as output let me refresh this so what is our initial format it is nothing but you have something like at the rate output and that output is called and then we are giving a child emitter this is the variable name copy this post paste here and which is of type of event emitter again we are creating a new object for this called as event emitter of and we are giving a type for this called as string so this is how we created before but now it has been replaced in a simple format instead of creating all this new event emitter and giving the event emitter type all this has been ignored and it gave a very easy format called as output and this is something how it used for our signaling purpose and also if you want to give a specific type for this you can use something like this and save this now the type shift error gone and also there is one more benefit by using this output decorator that is nothing but if you want to rename the or if you want to give an alias name for this output decorator you can do that so for example let me comment this and enable this so what i want to do is i want to give an alias name for this child emitter so 
let me show you first with a decorator so let me show you something like alias and this alias you can give any name so let me show you that of you can see alias so alias name directly you can give over here something like instead of child emitter i'll use something like button emitter i want to use child emitter variable inside my component of child but whenever i want to give it to the other components that means parent component in that case i'll use button emitter so let me name it properly emitter e t e r and save this now this button emitter i can use here instead of child emitter so alias name is something like you are giving other name for your variable so let me go here and clear this off click on this it works the same way even if you use child limited it works and even if you are using button emitter it works in the same way you can give this particular alias name for your output signal so let me comment this and uncomment this let me give that inside this off so here what we can do is we can just give off and you have some set of options inside that options you can see something called as alias name as of now it has only one option so that's why i'm giving alias name and the same name i am trying to pass so that is nothing but button emitter save this and go here and refresh when i click this it updated to text here that means it works as expected whatever the output decorator is providing to you before all the features are now available with our output signal so that's how you can use your output signals in our application so this is how you can migrate from your output decorator into output signal so this is the stable signal api which is provided by angular 19 hope this helps a lot and it is very simple to migrate from one output decorator to signal based in your application by using a single command by using migration command so if you want to migrate only specific folders you can do that as well so that's how it helps us in understanding our output signal and how it works hope this gave you a glance and clear understanding of output signals and from now on try to use output signal from angular 18 in angular 18 it is not a stable version but in angular 19 it became complete stable so you can use from end to end of the signal based approach for inputs and outputs if you miss my input signal tutorial video please watch my previous video for better understanding hope you like my explanation if you like my that's it for this video hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you